Welcome back to Visceral, and today we take a look at Current 93's The Light is Leaving Us. The lantern is blinding and bright burn The wedges in our eyes And the light is leaving us all Long so Current 93, the project for David Tibet, this singer, songwriter, monk, um, I'm not even sure how to classify him, who's been doing this now for decades. You know, Current 93 really is him um, with the collaboration of many, many other musicians. You know, people like Ben Chasney from Six Organs of Admittance, um, Nick Cave, the list goes on and on. The kind of people who have worked with David Tibet and Current 93 throughout the the last few decades and I've been a fan of his I wouldn't say I'm one of those hardcore committed folks I know that there are people that follow him religiously and and it's really odd I use that phrasing because he has this kind of monk persona that his music as well is definitely tinged and carries a lot of religious themes and you know it's trying to deal with these kind of big ideas and the delivery of it as well is is playing with lots and lots of different styles when I go back to some of his work from the 80s you you hear elements of industrial music of obviously neo folk or folk music deconstructed folk music maybe um, as well as ambience classical and a lot of that is done well on this record um, it, it is past catalog I've loved some of it I thought some of it was interesting and I think with anyone who is an actual experimental musician not just falling into the the tropes of well there's just some sound or some noise here but an actual person who wants to experiment with structures and and the existing ways that we deliver music chances are you're gonna sometimes have experiments that don't work out well I find that all of his records are interesting, but some of them I will likely not return to. So let's talk about his new record, The Light is Leaving Us All. As I said before, he's done a whole lot of different types of music or different elements that uh, from different styles have made their way into his collaborations and the co compositions that he's made. But The Light is Leaving Us All is actually a really great entry point if you're just kind of interested in, in David Tibet and Current 93. And the back catalog can be a bit daunting and you're not sure if you're going to want to slog through lots of experimental types of music. In fact, on this record, I think um, he's put together some of my favorite songs that he's ever done. Um, this, the, the title, The Light is Leaving Us All, if you listen to this record from beginning to end, you're going to hear that a lot because that line makes its way into almost all of the tracks that you'll see on this complete composition. I've listened to this now maybe two dozen times and I keep trying to think, is there a narrative thread? Are all these songs connected in some way or is there just this, this theme that maybe goodness is leaving the world or maybe it's just literal darkness? You know, we're sitting here in the fall, things are starting to die. Maybe it's just a comment on winter, but obviously it's a metaphor as well. And you'll see in a lot of the songs, there's that sense of, of helplessness, that you can call for help, that you can look for things, but no one is going to come. My favorite track on the record is the second track, which is called The Policeman Is Dead. Um, it's, it's great because it has this repeated English folk inspired guitar lick that then other instruments build on throughout the course of the track and the lyrics are just really foreboding and, and terrifying something that I think you'd probably find a lot of current 93 songs so he sings the light is leaving us all west street where shutters shut dark the flowers flow and sing in the drift the light is leaving us all and in the night the cuckoo's call to the light that is leaving us all far away the red barn burns oh rose you are dead later on in the song he brings the title in that well you can call for the police but the policeman is dead you can call for the surgeon but the surgeon is dead um again this is feeling that bad things are going to happen and there's no one is going to be there to help you the light is leaving us all and in the night the cuckoo's call to the light that is leaving us all far away the red barn burns oh rose you are dead and around you the first single from the record at least that's bit that he's articulators they made some music videos about is bright dead star and just like the policeman is dead 
this is a good track um, for folks who maybe are not that interested in experimental music that actually do need to have more traditional kind of melodies and things in their in their music. In fact, I can imagine giving this or The Policeman is Dead to someone who just likes traditional folk music, and they'd probably find a lot that they'd enjoy. Perhaps it was the word saying a word. Speak that word whilst the sea falls and moths swirl and clouds call the light is leaving us all my second favorite track on the record is 30 red houses and again it continues this narrative piece of no one is going to be there to help you or in fact if you're going to look for help you're going to have to look in less traditional places it's funny, there's a line in this where he references the Witch of Endor, and I must say in my mind, maybe it just shows my lack of culture, it immediately jumped to one of those Ewok adventure movies where, of course, they're on Endor in the Star Wars franchise, and there's a witch, and I thought, he can't possibly be referencing a Star Wars film, because you know uh, this is supposed to be really heady music, something that's very um, religious and spiritual, esoteric, and I thought, uh, I better look into this, and of course... There is the Witch of Endor in the Book of Joshua in the Bible, which is probably where Tibet was going with it. Nonetheless, I also like to think that it is a reference to some terrible made-for-TV Star Wars film. Dreaming like sparrows, the great star in the sky, and on that hill are thirty red houses, thirty red houses upon a red hill. Upon a dead hill. So I highly recommend checking this record out, especially if you're someone who is not really interested in the experimental or neo-folk genre. If you're the kind of person who gets a little turned off by things that are a, lit, a bit too outside of what we'd accept as uh, kind of music and traditional music structure. And in fact, uh, I know that I've given this record to a few people who are were big Tom Waits fans, that they're the kind of folks who they like when a musician starts to play with the conventions of a certain genre, and they hadn't heard Current 93. They listened to this record and thought, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I can see some kind of similar mental space that he's occupying as, as Tom Waits. So that's all for today, everyone. Make sure that you subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Google Play. We also have been posting video versions of that podcast. We've been going through Bandcamp, listening to lots of brand new releases from little bands all over the country and all over the world. And in fact, if you have some music that you'd like us to share on that podcast, send it our way. Either put a comment down below or you can find our email on the website that's also listed down below. Till next time.